My name is Jonathan Squires, and I'm the. Uh, my name is Jonathan Squires, and I'm the administrator of Yakabout the Villages, Yakabout Leesburg, Yakabout Mount Dora. I'm at a facility right here uh, in Leesburg called the Breakfast Station. Uh, the service that's happening here at the Breakfast Station, there is personal valet that they're going out to their customers with a umbrella making sure they don't get wet as they're coming in. Uh, there's a young man out there which is the, in management here. And I've even seen him go out and grab the car for the elderly clients and bring them in so they don't have to um, get wet to the breakfast station. This breakfast station is located right here in Leesburg and it's absolutely stunning. The professional service that this young man is doing and I'm going to try to get him here <clears throat> on video right now uh, it's just phenomenal I, I'm, I'm shocked I've not seen this service ever in my lifetime where the uh, restaurant went out with an umbrella picked up the client walked him back in there talking to them uh, very cordially and thanking them to coming to their place and serving them and this young man right here is the one I'm speaking of I couldn't get up off my chair fast enough to see this and he's just phenomenal I mean you're seeing something here in this day and age that's just not heard of let me see if I can get this young man to come over here for one second hello very good, thank you. My name is Jonathan Squires. I'm with Yakabout Leesburg. Jocelyn, nice, Jocelyn to meet you. nice to meet you. Your attitude, your persona, uh, you know, is very exuberant. And can I ask you a question? How long have you been with this company? Uh, off and on for about 14 years. Whoa! So you mean the breakfast station has been in the state of Florida for about 14 years? Since 1995. And where did they start at? Uh, Port Ritchie. Port Ritchie. I oh, God, I love Port Ritchie. I wish I was over there because the first time I've ever seen your place was over there in the home of Sassa, Chasawiska yes. region. And I was, I was first introduced to you there. Then you popped up here. I came here and the service was exactly the same way as well as with the food. The food quality and the service was just the same. How do you explain that with this company? Uh, we pride ourselves in our employees and... Customer service is about number one here. We pride ourselves on making that customer 100% happy, and if we don't, we try to figure out how to do that. Right. I was just sitting down at my breakfast, and I was finishing up my breakfast because I know you're getting packed. Let me just pan here and show you. You're at just now 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning in Leesburg, and you're almost to capacity. Yeah. Would that be what would be recognized as good service, good food, good attitude or a combination of everything all of the above yes. right we try to put everything in the same pot and we do it very well you that's do why, you do it very well we have 12 locations now. you have 12, 12 I, oh 12 see i was under your impression because i only thought you're at eight but now you're at 12 that's right. to show you how fast you're growing because i didn't even hear that part yeah is it true that when i was out here and you know having breakfast just now that i saw you go out and get a car for an elderly couple so they didn't have to go out to get their own car. Correct. So what would you consider? Is that really true valet service? If you want to say that, I just like to give back to people. I'm very kind-hearted, and I always try to think above and beyond. Well, let me tell you what. I have not seen this in my over a half a century year old in the yeah. state of Florida. I was in the gas station business where I used to have to put the gas in, check the tires, check the oil, wash the windshield, collect the money, and wish them for a great day. That service left in the 70s. In the 80s, you never heard of it again. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to bring back, you think? Or, or, or you really didn't even know those. You're just so young. You didn't even know that I, time. I don't, well, I've heard of it. I just, it's not something I even think of. I just, it's something that I would like, like done for myself. And oh. It's like you go to Walmart and you have to check your own groceries out and everything. You go to Publix and there's 10 registers open you're in and out in five minutes everybody's so friendly and that's what i like i like customer service and i like to make customers feel at home and at peace yeah and you know you 
you, you really raised a good point there. You know, in this day and age, we're really so sped up in our lives. So when you can make that little bit of window of happiness in someone's life, which you've just done in front of me, and I've seen you do it, by getting the umbrella and keep keeping them dry so they come into an air-conditioned place and they're dry, yeah. that to me is a little bit of happiness for maybe a day that someone possibly maybe ha needs that window of happiness. Yeah. And I really do appreciate that. Thank you so, much. so the company again is? And this is location? Number eight. Number eight, and there's yeah. 12 locations in the state of Florida. Yep, and your name again? to a town near you. Okay, and you're, okay, <laughs> okay, watch this right here, guys. These guys are pulling up. He's bringing the umbrella out. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal in the state of Florida. I'm sorry, I've not seen this before. I've only remember it back when I was a child. And this was just amazing. And this place is filled to capacity right now. And it's just now, well, it's 820, excuse me, 820 on a Sunday morning in Leesburg, Florida. This is absolutely phenomenal. Here he goes, walking out there. He's got the woman under the umbrella and they're walking out to their car for their convenience. That is just amazing. I hope you guys come here. This is phenomenal to even see this in the United States. But here in Leesburg, Florida, I'm telling you, it's wonderful. I hope you guys have a great day. Rain sometimes is a great time to reflect and read a book and, and be with your family because the Creator wants you to take a little bit of a rest. So here he goes again. He's heading out to another part of the, of the parking lot. And look at him go. And here he goes. The guy's happy to meet him. He knows him. <laughs> and, he's bring, and, he, and, and he's bringing and, and he's bringing him in. <laughs> and this other guy said differently. <laughs> Everybody's absolutely happy here. Hello. I'm having a flashback. I thought it was back over Vietnam and I'm on Zoom. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Again. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much for, 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 for doing this on Yak About. Nice to meet you too. And I have you have a wonderful career. And I just have something in my imagination of my future. I think your boss would actually be a blessing if you were ever to go on with your own business and stuff like that. That would be something too. But if you stayed here, I hope I get to meet you again. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. You, you go take her, you got, you got a full house in there, brother. Thank I, you. I appreciate you. Have a great day. You too, bye-bye.